Here's the truth. The election of 2020 was the greatest demonstration of democracy in the history of this country. More of you voted in that election than have ever voted in all of American history. Over 150 million Americans went to the polls and voted that day. In a pandemic, some had great, great risk to their lives. They should be applauded, not attacked. Right now, in state after state, new laws are being written, not to protect the vote, but to deny it. Not only to suppress the vote, but to subvert it. Not to strengthen and protect our democracy, but because the former president lost, instead of looking at the election results from 2020 and saying they need new ideas or better ideas to win more votes, the former president and his supporters have decided the only way for them to win is to suppress your vote and subvert our elections. It's wrong, it's undemocratic, and frankly, it's un-American. The second big lie being told by the former president and supporters is that the results of the election of 2020 can't be trusted. The truth is that no election, no election in American history has been more closely scrutinized or more carefully counted. Every legal challenge questioning the results in every court in this country that could have been made, was made, and was rejected, often rejected by Republican-appointed judges, including judges appointed by the former president himself, from state courts to the United States Supreme Court. Recounts were undertaken in state after state, Georgia. Georgia counted its results three times with one recount by hand. Phony partisan audits were undertaken long after the election in several states. None changed the results. And in some of them, the irony is the margin of victory actually grew slightly. So let's speak plainly about what happened in 2020. Even before the first ballot was cast, the former president was preemptively sowing doubt about the election results. <clears throat> he built his lie over months. It wasn't based on any facts. He was just looking for an excuse, a pretext, to cover for the truth. He's not just a former president. He's a defeated former president. Defeated by a margin of over 7 million of your votes in a full and free and fair election. There is simply zero proof the election results are inaccurate. In fact, in every venue where evidence had to be produced, an oath to tell the truth had to be taken, the former president failed to make his case. Just think about this. The former president and his supporters have never been able to explain how they accept as accurate the other election results that took place on November 3rd. The elections for governor, United States Senate, House of Representatives. Elections which they closed the gap in the House. They challenged none of that. The president's name was first. Then we went down the line. Governors, senators, House of Representatives. Somehow those results are accurate on the same ballot. But the presidential race was flawed. And on the same ballot, the same day, cast by the same voters, the only difference, the former president didn't lose those races. He just lost the one that was his own.